Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode and final episode of Shokugeki no Soma ni no Sara, or you could call it Food Wars the Second Plate, which is on episode 13. It's sad to see this go, really. I had a lot of fun with all great all, all honesty. As a manga reader myself, I actually enjoyed it to the very beginning to the very end. So let's just get this started and I'll give you guys my final thoughts as an anime as an anime watcher. Not only that, as a manga reader, you know? So let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode we have to it that there's a final day happening at Chino's she knows Tokyo, you know, on um, we and after that we have to it that Soma is working really hard to like um achieve all the in, achieve all the ingredients and plan that recetes and so and so forth. But it seems like to me like um things were still looking ni nice and neat. And of course we get our like um last batch of guests, which is which is con which concludes. Almost all those guys from the um, Food Wars um, camp, you know, like Hina Hinako Inoue, that other dude, and I think that Italian late Italian lady, which I've forgotten her name or something, which I don't remember much, you know. But going back into what's going on here, we have to it that everybody's enjoying themselves and we get to see Shinomiya's mother which is pretty cool and we get to know why like um why he chose french cooking when you could hear Soma asked him that but we add to it that um Shinomiya on the other hand think to his head why he chose it and he never answered you could hear his question and she says do I have to answer you and so forth and of course we get some history lessons about like um certain things here and there and everybody is actually concerned about Yukihira Soma because, you know, a Totsuki investigator is keeping an eye on Soma if he's actually, if he's going to pass or not, you know? But, right now, they are also concerned because Yukihira Soma is brand new to French cooking itself, you know? Like, he does not know anything about French cooking, He ne he's never been taught about it. Even if he was taught about by his dad, he only knows little by little in... In the aspect, you know, but as the episode continues, we have to it that everyone's really concerned about giving all they got in the reset day, you know. And after that, of course, you can hear Soma is on the run to like um, try to make this work. And the dish he's serving up is like a whole quail, like something about a right dumbori rice ball or something, an egg. And when Shinomiya decided to eat it, taste it, he was. It actually blew him away. Not to mention Hinako Inui herself, which is pretty hot, by the way. She's kicking butt. <laughs> you all know what I mean. And we have to it that how Soma did all this, like using the po like the salia and rosette, yada yada yada. But we have to it that we get to know about like um the hidden objective, like the real, real beyond objective of the stagia. As you can see here, they say that we had to it that throughout times where chefs become more um, desperate to achieve to get to the top right now, they have to go through like certain like um, histories and modules of of French cooking once in a while. And another thing too is that um, is that students of Totoki itself in the stagia. Not only must give something to the professional kitchen, but to steal techniques and make it their own cooking, which is what Yukihira Soma has been doing until now. Like, he even explains to Shinomiya after he says, Now nah, you've done it, you little rat. <laughs> well, he didn't say it like that or even a subtitle say it, but the way how he could, how he's really, how Soma like him got him to a point to say, Oh, that was not too bad or something. Pretty, pretty cool. You can hear so much explain to Shinomiya, like, um, you yourself came here to, like, um, reform your cooking, you know? As for me, it's the opposite. I came here to, like, um, to break out the environment cooking that I was in, you know, that kind of thing. And make it, at, make it a new dish for the new Yukihira. And they all, like, are concerned about how the, um, how so much dish is going to surprise Shinomiya to the end. But Shinomiya says, nah, it's not good. And that freaking like, 
turned into a silent, gloomy air atmosphere, dude. It was like, oh, man. But we had to that Shinomiya says, if we leave it like this. You see here, I can make a few adjustments here and there. Would you like to know? And therefore someone's like, yes, yes, yes! Even the, even the investigator was pretty surprised about this. After much comedic moments about Soma calling Shinomiya a master, which is really, really funny. I actually wanted to see that adapted, but they did that in the morning time, which is also okay, you know? And... Of course, Shinomiya's like, hey, knock it off, stop calling me master. And Hinako and the other girl was teasing him about it, and he shuts him up by squeezing the head and so forth, which is really, really cool and funny, you know, at, at, at many ways to one. Really awesome. So, as the episode continues on with this um, procedure, Shinomiya tells Yukihiro Soma, you better go take the first seat, okay? And he goes like, Roger, sir. And therefore, Soma gets ready for his blasting atmosphere, and everyone else, including Alice, Ta Ta Aldini brothers, and the others, are, are looking pretty good. But as you can hear, as Soma comes home, and when that ending song was playing, oh my gosh, that full song of the ending just nailed it. Where Soma is challenged by a second year of, tot of, of a Totoki student, and Soma's like, okay. Let's do this! I'm like, oh yeah, baby! And therefore, everybody is back from the back from their alumni or stagia, you know. And Yukihiro Soma want a match right now, and Shinomiya tells Yukihiro Soma that if he's gonna obtain everything and so forth, he's he's gonna have to keep looking up, etc. You know that kind of thing. And therefore, Yukihiro Soma defeated the guy who challenged him, and Yukihiro sent a message to all the second years, like, Hey, you know what? Instead of sending me letters to challenge, how about we do it now? Let's you and I, like, see who's capable of, of winning this time. You know, that kind of thing. And he goes like, let's have a Shokugeki, and it ends up with, I'm glad you liked it, or something. And that made me pretty sad, many ways to one, because, like, um... Because it's been very enjoyable from the beginning to end, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts right now. Um, from the very beginning, it felt very fast, and the episode and episode after that, it always felt very fast for me. Even as a manga reader coming from this, I still enjoyed it to the end, you know? And I really did, because the way how it, how it, what it became and how it, um, how it became was a nice way how to say, like, um, it did its job, it, it did its job, you know? Despite the fact that it, it felt fast and there's only a limited, it's only like half the, almost like half the episodes of what um, season one gave out, you know, it still did uh, a job where I'm actually satisfied to a point to say like, um, it, I, I enjoyed it, you know, I mean, <clears throat> I expected it to be at least 24 episodes just like the first season, but if it had to like um, cut out some content or if it has to slow down at a certain point or even had to go at a fast pace to leave on a cliffhanger for anime only to be like and what the f you know I could have I may understand but still I wish it could have been better but I still enjoyed it to the end what is my score 8 out of 10 for me you know I mean like um it felt fast many moments here and there but it had its greatest moments with Soma and the other side characters and just a lot of things in general I really enjoyed it to the very end of time up to the point I'm looking forward to more so well I don't know if I'd be looking forward to more because I don't know if a third season will be announced but I'm pretty sure a third season can come maybe later in the future maybe a couple years later or maybe next year but it all depends on the mangaka making a lot of chapters you know because one thing for sure, after this Stagiaire arc, the next arc and the one after that becomes one of the um, big, big games of what um, the students of Totoki have to go through. Not to mention a serious, serious person shows up and changes the game. That is just a minor spoiler ahead. I'm not going to tell you anything else. That's all I'm going to say. So if you're desperate to know what's going to happen next, I suggest you read the manga. But I highly recommend that you start from the beginning though because there's a lot of content right on from the there's a lot of content from the manga it has to show 
then the anime has given its adapt scenes of adaptations here and there, you know? So if you want to read the manga or so forth, yeah, go on ahead. But I re highly recommend you start from the beginning, you know? Because it has a lot of good art, you know? And it has a lot of scenes where it's cut out and so forth. Some comedic scenes and other things. But I'm pretty sure there's more than just comedic scenes there, too. And so forth. But if you want to know where... If you don't want to start at the beginning and you want to start off where the anime left off, you let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply to you as soon as possible if I ever got the time, you know. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I am Alpha Zero. I hope you anime onlys and manga readers as well enjoyed this second season as much as I did. I know I did, even though I felt fast. But it was fun till the end, you know. That's my honesty. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Do do do